Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video this morning. I hope you're all doing really great. And so we will be taking a look at the latest for Invest 92L, which should uh, become a tropical depression and even tropical storm breath later today, as well as the new disturbance that is marked behind it. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. And so as we take a look at the satellite imagery, we can see here that uh, some activities definitely noted across sections of the Caribbean, not anything too much, mostly some overcast conditions extended from parts of Central America going across Jamaica, Hispaniola to Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and down to the southeastern Caribbean, mainly inducing some overcast conditions, possibly with an isolated shower or even some thunderstorms as what we see just in the vicinity of Haiti. But in areas where we don't see much of that uh, white and those uh, in those different colors it is a pretty clear morning for example in sections of the northwestern uh, caribbean and also going to some of the lesser antilles and definitely the abc islands and now we want to go ahead and drift toward the east let's go out into the tropical atlantic and here we have our disturbances we have invest 92l which is developing into tropical storm brett and you also have that new disturbance the chance of development for that new one has increased and so let's uh, go ahead and take a look at the latest from the National Hurricane Center so uh, this is from 2 a.m. this morning and uh, we can see here that the chance of uh, development for this system here has increased to 30% and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if in the 8 a.m. updates not too far from now uh, this chance actually goes up to 40 but uh, the chance of development is at 30% for the next seven days and uh, for the next 48 hours 20% so still low uh, but that probability is certainly there and then going on to 92L now it remains 90% through both 48 hours and 7 days so it is highly likely that we will be seeing this become a tropical depression later today and eventually tropical storm Brett there's almost a 100% guarantee that this will happen uh, more than likely today and so now we want to go ahead and take a look at the latest the models are expecting from from this and so I'm going to be starting out with the GFS model and so if you're not too familiar with this those black lines that you see across the screen they're called isobars and they join areas of equal pressure and so when we see them in a circular manner with a pressure of at least around 1030 millibars or lower than that we're talking about a low pressure system and that can very well be a tropical cyclone so that is what we're looking for here and there we have the forecast time so let's see what the GFS is expecting as of the uh, zero Z update and so here it is showing that 92L will be continuing to the west for some time but uh, as we're going to be heading into the end of this week going to the new week it is going to be making that turn up to the north and missing the Caribbean and uh, this would be the case if the system rapidly intensifies uh, into a strong tropical storm or even a hurricane however uh, that doesn't seem really likely right so I wouldn't say that it is going to be intensifying that quickly and also the GFS is certainly picking up on that second uh, system getting itself together but the model shows what could be Brett at the time uh, eventually absorbing that system and so let's move on to the Euro model and see what is expected here and so as we progress throughout this week there we have that high pressure steering this uh, these systems toward the west uh, but Euro is showing that while well, we're going to be having 92L likely Brett at the time developing and intensifying that second system is going to be struggling out they're likely with those unfavorable conditions and so uh, the model is not showing much become of it but as for 92L here we're seeing it approaching the Caribbean as we're going to be heading into late Thursday and going into Friday likely bringing lots of rainfall to the eastern islands and uh, I would say for all of the islands going from Anguilla southward to uh, Grenada to be on watch and especially for uh, Barbados as well as Guadeloupe, Dominica, all these areas should be on watch for this system because even though the rain is needed and would be very much welcomed, uh, having too much of it at once will do more harm than good in terms of floods being induced across different areas and uh, we don't want floods and so uh, I urge you to all continue to stay updated. I'm keeping you guys posted here on YouTube uh, just to know what is happening with the system and uh, in the event of any heavy rainfall guys and 
your area is experiencing flooding, please take unnecessary precautions and do not take any unnecessary risks. And so a uh, euro also has this rapidly disintegrating as it progresses through uh, the Eastern Caribbean and are really not becoming anything much. And then as we head to the Canadian model, as we head to the end of this week here, we see that it is also expecting a tropical storm, not showing that something very strong will be there either. Uh, as for that second system, it migrates up to the north and the Canadian model is also expecting that we're going to be seeing another uh, wave heading to the Caribbean and developing at a lower latitude. And so very interesting here. This isn't something to be seen in the month of June. This is late August going into September type activity. So uh, this could be a sneak peek of what could be up ahead. And uh, many of the recent predictions are calling for an above average season, some even a hyperactive season. But let's go on to the icon. This is the final model run we'll be looking at. And uh, as we head to Thursday going to Friday they receive the model expecting uh, this to also be a pretty weak system making its way across the Lesser Antilles and moving into the Eastern Caribbean. As for that second system, Icon has it developing uh, maybe into a tropical depression or even a storm by the latter of this week. And so uh, nothing is certain at this point in time. There can be many changes, but ICON is a really good model and it rivals the GFS and the Euro models. And so again, if you're in the Eastern Islands, it is important to pay attention to what is happening out there. And so with this, uh, that the ICON, the Canadian and Euro models are expecting, uh, if this is to continue on that westward track heading through the Caribbean as we progress into next week, other areas such as Hispaniola and even Jamaica could possibly be impacted. Again, we're talking about something several days uh, out from now, well out from now. So there can be many changes uh, between now and then, but we're seeing that sort of trend and uh, changes are bound to happen. But uh, if that is the case, as we have a weakening system, it is likely that a lot of that moisture, that shower and thunderstorm activity would make its way into Jamaica, hopefully not as anything too intense. But Again, there is no guarantee of that happening. And uh, going on to what is expected uh, in terms of the model intensity guidance. Now, most of these uh, available models expecting this to strengthen into a hurricane eventually. Uh, a couple of them saying Cat 2, one going up to Cat 3. And I don't think a hurricane is impossible, but uh, I think the chance of it happening is uh, a bit low right now. However, as we progress over the next couple of days, let's see what's going to be happening with this system here. Let's see what's going to be happening with that new disturbance. And of course, I'm here to keep you guys posted. So again, this is not your typical June with uh, the storms that develop being in the Gulf or even off the southeastern coast of the U.S. We're talking about main development region activity. And what is to blame? Well, the above average sea surface temperatures are really helping to boost a lot of that activity. And so uh, that is the main reason we're seeing all of this starting from now. And this could be a sneak peek for what could be up ahead for the rest of the season. But let's take it one step at a time. And I'm here to keep you guys posted on what to expect. So again, Eastern Islands of the Caribbean, uh, please stay updated on this. Go from Anguilla southward to Grenada and so uh, if the need is there I will be posting a second update video this evening so be on the lookout for that and that is pretty much it for this update and so I hope that you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can and remember to always be weather wise.